You said no more autism games after Fakorio at the event. You promised to bring back Moot and Dan. We are no longer asking. Moot and Dan can drum whatever they want. Cell phone video captured some of that fight between 41-year-old Anthony Sam. There's like a... <laughs> I, I know all the golden rules of street fighting, uh, even though I've never been in one because I've seen enough YouTube videos to know. When you've got a guy down, the fight is over. As soon as you go down and you start like choking him or whatever, you're on like some other shit. And people around you are probably going to try to kill you if you do that. <laughs> I think that's like the, I think that's the general rule of, that's like the general rule of street fighting. If a guy is on the ground, you knocked him out, then the fight is over. As soon as you get on the ground with him and you start like choking him or you start doing some shit, then I think that like people around you are going to, um, are gonna try to kill you. I think that's that's generally what I've seen. The dude bought a brought out a gun and he was trying to detain him for cops. I think. Um. Oh, uh, really? Why would you try to do that? Why do you need to detain somebody for the cop? I mean, I guess you could, but this is like a bad situation. And He's not following the Destiny Golden Rule of street fighting. Remember what Destiny said, guys. Boxing. Boxing is how you do it. 23-year-old Javon Taylor. Witnesses tell Kane. Why is, why is grappling bad? Because you're on the ground. They might have a friend. You're going to get your shit fucked up. And I, it sounds like that's exactly what happened to this dude. Rip. But he won. He didn't win. He God. apparently got his brains fucking blown out by his girlfriend over here. <laughs> what do you mean? What's up? Loser. I <laughs> see you watching other people's content again. Nothing better to do? Um, then chill here with 9,000 viewers while I get to build my factory? No, I can't think mm. of anything better to do. Really? Hmm. You know, I just, I'm trying Oreos with iced coffee. I'm not sure if this is the move or not. God, why do you like coffee so much? It's so cringe. Mm. Ask him about the orbiters. Uh, my orbiters are just <laughs> wild right now. They've been misbehaving. Which ones? Not All me. of them. No. No, because you nuts. AFK'd. But um, Cherry yep. and Stardust were dropping some wild uh, accusations mm -hmm. on Mr. Girl, which were probably uh -huh. wholly inappropriate. Um, okay. We've got like uh, Mr. Girl is just going to war with the fucking subreddit. That's been fucking wild. Lav mm -hmm. has just been fucking on some wild shit. Apparently calling her a bitch was like the ultimate like crossing the line. Um just, oh really? Yeah, I guess. Um, just, How so? What has what has changed since you called her a bitch? I don't know. She's like, oh my god, like the misogyny in your community has come to a boiling point now because you've done this and blah blah blah. I was like, are you serious? You were like fucking going wild on Cherry that entire conversation. Um, you know, I feel like if I'm gonna do this, you're gonna be like, it's not the same. But I mean, you've heard this argument before. I don't necessarily listen. There's certainly woman haters out there. I concur with you. However, there is also people who, in this community, there's certain male people that they fucking hate. The only difference is, I, I don't think a lot of people hate Not So Erudite. I don't. Here's the problem. No, no, no. I agree with you. I agree with you, 100%. Here's the problem. Okay, let's say that I bring on three black people, and they're legitimately mm -hmm. the dumbest motherfuckers in the world, and there's a lot of criticism to be had for all three of these people. And then let's say you go to my subreddit, and half the posts are like really good critique, and the other half of the posts are calling them all the n-word. How am I ever supposed to be like, okay, he is, some of them are racist, sure. But like, there's a lot of good criticism there too. I can't do it, right? And that's kind of the issue. That's one of the big reasons why I'm going to crack down on like all the misogyny shit. Can is because there are I... valid criticisms to make of some of these people, but it's like, it's hard to point out or find when like a lot of the stuff is just like drenched in like fucking misogyny. Can you just, in your example, can you just not bring on the dumb people? I guess. Uh, no, because a lot of people that can have dumb opinions or be kind of crazy sometimes I think are interesting. And it's not, it's dumb that like, I have to be fearful when I do it with women, but I can do it infinitely with men and it'll never reflect poorly on all men. That's just stupid as fuck. Um, we'll balance it out with enough of the other, uh, you know, the not stupid orbiters that, you know, people, it doesn't... Yeah, sure, it's just hard to find like normal, ordinary women in like this space. Like, even for men, like everybody's pretty crazy, right? But... Hmm. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'll find him eventually. I'm doing, but I'm trying to work. I'm building out my. I've been talking to a lot of decently intelligent women. I'm trying to bully them to get on stream. A lot of them just don't want to come on stream too, which is also annoying. But. <laughs> really? 
they just want to talk to you off stream? Well, no, the issue is because they see like comments and chat and shit sometimes and they're like ultra fucking paranoid. It's another reason why I try to tell the sub to chill sometimes when I talk to people because I'll have like one bad conversation with people and the people in the sub will go fucking insane. And a lot of people see those reactions and they're like, eh, I don't know if I want to like risk that or like that seems like hardcore. And it's like, okay, yeah. So I like I lose the ability to bring on like I think there's three like super cool women that I know right now that could be on stream contributing because I have conversations with them off stream about things that where I think they could contribute like pretty well but um, they, they don't want to be anywhere near on stream because of like the vitriolic comments sometimes about some of the women I have on and it's like Jesus and it sucks just because of that yeah that's a big a huge but yeah that's the thing like if that were to change that's they, the thing yeah if that if that hmm. interesting um so who are the orbiters that are just going crazy besides Stardust and um, Lav and Mr. Girls or others, or is that it? Because those are all fucking discount new gen orbiters, none of the OGs. So um, I mean, Rosers okay. is like retiring from online content after White Nervosa became as unhinged as she's ever been. Be did he say that he's retiring because of? I don't think it's um, because of that. I think. I didn't actually watch his video. Fuck. I read write ups of it though. But apparently just like the general toxicity of like online politics and shit. So it probably played a part in it, be my guess. Okay. Um people said ask about Cherry. Um Cherry was just kind of involved in the Stardust stuff, which is just kinda of dumb. But I she hasn't done anything besides that that's like exceptionally bad or anything. Okay. Um You know something I have been kind of keeping up with is, uh, you know, some of this booba stuff on Twitch is getting, god damn, is this shit getting crazy. Just, I mean, I granted my only exposure is the stuff I see on LSF, but like, you know, these are like, whew, I, I don't, where's the line? That's what I want to know. Where is the line? I actually don't know. I, I, mean, I don't what's know. different now than what they've done before. It's all booba. Well, I mean, well, way back in the day, um, people got banned even for remotely kind of being like this now like i feel like i'm seeing clips on lsf where uh people are wearing like unironically floss you know mm -hmm. and that's it like in that and it's just like oh well you have a blow up pool in the background so i guess the yeah i don't know you don't want to take a stance on this you're afraid um, of no. upsetting i'm afraid why don't you yeah, tell us your afraid. opinion about the amaranth stuff dan what is the amaranth stuff and our abusive husband I'm sorry, I didn't watch that. I'd love to, Cringe. but unfortunately, I haven't. Uh... I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. I think the I've always said like heavily sexualized content probably doesn't belong on Twitch, but you know they're not going to change it. So, hmm. yeah, just StarCraft content, how it should be. Based. You're banning, not safe for work in chat. So I hear. Yep. I speak for the trees who say that perhaps that will not solve your issues. Uh, no, I think it's good. That's actually a complaint that I hear a lot from women too. Is that actually that? Is that the that's like the second most common one that I hear? Yeah, is the not safe for work spam. Just... I don't believe these women exist. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say so. You're telling me these magical three women who are super smart are all be like, you know, hey, I don't want to come on stream because uh, your chat is really misogynist and there's not safe for work stuff. No, they don't exist. This is this is a is a straw man the right word to use here? Probably not. If you want, I don't to know. Be done. Yeah, it's, I'm going to go ahead and say it. this is a straw man. Okay, there is no, uh, there is no scare, scarecrow here. It doesn't exist. Um, mm -hmm. I think they're, they're just upset that you're not dressing better. And they're like, you know, I don't want to really be seen on stream if you're just going to wear I mean, sweatpants. I mean, it's kind of rich to say that, like, women aren't upset or women shouldn't be upset about porn being posted in chat. When my chat had like a fucking full scale revolution, when people were posting not safe for work but weren't tagging it when it was like trans or like gay porn. <laughs> Do you remember, remember those remember days? That. When was that? You that don't remember those like, days? That was, what, like 2015 maybe? That was, I think it was more recent than that. That was within the past three no years, wasn't it? Way. People would post no porn and it'd be like gay porn. It'd be like not safe for work and it'd be one dude like fucking railing another dude. And be like, you need to label that as gay porn. And that's not just not to be like, what are the label? And people are losing their minds over that shit, okay? I, f I feel like that was a long time ago. That was like 2019. Long. No shot. Now you just know, like, you know, certain certain chatters. Now they, they, they self-identify. Like, when you see the um, uh, Not Safe for Work link and it has the, uh, oh, God, what is that stupid fucking emote that they tag with it? And then you know, like, I ain't clicking that. Yeah, that's the one. The uh, cutesteny. 
<laughs> you steer the fuck clear. I mean, you know, if, if, if that's not your thing, you steer clear. You know, if it is your thing, you go for it. Um, but, you know, there's that one, and there's uh, another one, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, what's going on with the chess stuff? Let's see if we can get you lumped into this lawsuit. Um, uh, I think Hans is suing people for making claims about him cheating when they don't have solid evidence of it, I think. What's your view on that? Do you think, who who's in the right, who's in the wrong on this situation here? This is, a, by the way, this, so this is the guy that other people claim had the vibrating butt plug or whatever to cheat or whatever, yes? Um, yeah, well, no, that was memes. People didn't actually think that happened. They were just... They just had no idea how he actually cheated. That was oh, really? Meme. I thought that happened. That's what I heard. Well, no, that, no, that was a meme. No, well, I think oh. that was a meme. Yeah. No, that was a meme for sure. I mean, that would be like one of the only ways for sure you could cheat in a live setting, right? Well, there's probably other devices that you could theoretically have like taped to you and stuff to vibrate at certain times or whatever, but yeah. But like you would have to like interact with it. You have to like clench four times to indicate, oh, fourth row moving to this type of thing or right? it might be something like, as simple as like going to touch a piece and something vibrates to let you know that's the right piece or wrong piece to move or something like that right oh but that takes that takes uh someone else to like well yeah watch. of course yeah like the idea is you could have a raspberry pi in your ass and you could be like you know the amount of clenches indicates if it's like a no, bishop or a queen not, and then where it's going i, I mean it could 100 percent could you could have a self-contained Ass I know that th machine. it's th we're talking theoretically possible, not practically what would happen. I don't think anybody would actually go that. Actually, here's a good question. Is a Raspberry Pi by itself, does it have enough power to be a better chess player than a pro? Has it gotten that good or do you still need a really strong computer? Um, I don't think you need really strong computers, but I don't know if a Raspberry Pi could do it. I'm not sure. It, would, it wouldn't surprise me if they could at this point. All the um, algos are pretty sophisticated. People are saying yes, but do we trust them? They are morons, after all. Oh, yeah. Raspberry Pi could probably just do Wi-Fi, so you could just... No, you're not allowed to do Wi-Fi. I'm talking self-contained. No internet. Processing done on the chip itself. That's the only way you can be safe. Well, you could do, like... You could still do Wi-Fi and have it kind of self-contained. Because you could have, like... Um, you could have one Raspberry Pi up your ass and another one, like, inserted in, like, your arm or something, right? Well, like inside your, you know, there was a cool story I read a long time ago about people that would do uh, functional body mods, and what they would do is they would like put like oh, like you, ma oh, like Sorry, magnets under their fingertips, and the idea is that like they could now they had like this new sense of um, new sensory thing that like normal people don't have, which is actually like really cool. It's like you could immediately tell when something was like metal, mm -hmm. um, or if there was metal underneath it, and I thought that was pretty neat. Like um, Albert, I think. Got, didn't Albert get an RFID chip installed in like his um, in his wrist? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I feel like I saw a Twitter video or something of him doing that. That just seems fucking cringe, though. Like, what is an RFID? Thing I don't know. Do? I just oh, it's a I thing. It's a body mod. It seems door. cringe to have a magnet too, Dan. Are you telling me that's no, based and that, awesome? I, I think if you're like Dan, which one would you rather have? An RFID thing in your fucking arm or like magnets in your fingertips? I'm going fucking magnets in the fingertips, hands down. What about you? I don't know if I want magnets on my summer. fingertips. Again. Jesus. It was a good time when I was there. Dude, I bet I, that would be so cool to like. Uh, it'd be fun. It ended up being annoying as fuck. Like every time I would touch my laptop, it would like turn off or some stupid shit like that. Oh, so, wait. Have you talked well, any more about moving? What? About what? Move. Moving. No, I haven't. Um, I'm still. Did you guys hear I, Dan and Mooten both leaving as soon as I got no, here? No, well, how's that not, one, guys? How cool first is off, that? That's not. That's not. Because I haven't, I don't know what I'm doing, so you can't know what I'm doing. Um, I, I like living like that, by the way. No one can figure you out if you're so stupid that you can't figure yourself out. Um, but anyways, uh, I just, I, th I have, I own my house completely. You know, I don't have any mortgage or anything like that on it, and the value has gone up a considerable amount to the point where I think it's kind of silly to just sit on this much cash. Um, Versus investing it into mm -hmm. other stuff. Yeah, you so want to sell this kinda... house and go get a 9% mortgage. Smart. Okay. Well, it balances itself out. I mean, you're always doing an adjustable rate mortgage, so you don't really too much get killed. Like, Wait, right you now, really do it... the... You really do adjustable rates? Absolutely. Wow. Okay. 100%. Well, five one arms right now. That's the big thing you do for in, for investment. Why would I... On investment property, why would I... Oh, on investment. Sure. I. Oh, yeah. Personally. No, I'm, I, I don't think I would buy... 
the unironically the stuff that happened on the west coast of florida scared me enough i think um there is some big fundamental differences that I, I have looked into that's made me feel a little bit better but the whole the flooding um the storm surge stuff has actually made me think a little bit about it so like i do believe okay there's a lot to unpack here where do i start um okay i haven't been really specifically worried about wind i have a poured concrete house which is really very strong i have a metal roof um it's probably going to be fine even up to a cat five i would say um the thing that's a little bit scary is i live basically on the on the beach you know where i live i'm like two blocks away from from the fucking ocean Mm -hmm. and um storm surge is is i think people saw it it's actually pretty scary at this time um like i the thing is i feel like i got tricked a little bit um it's kind of hard to explain like i've seen these like weather channel like storm surge things for so long but you've never seen it like I, I don't think i've ever seen storm surge fucking ever except for like i don't know in like malaysia or something when you say like that, storm just, surge you're talking about like flooded waters or flooding and shit happening well, after a storm really quick or well it, it's like crazy shit like um it's basically during a hurricane the wind pushes can but not always push a tremendous amount of water upwards so, like, um, normally you think of flooding, like, oh, it rains a lot and the water can't go anywhere, so you start having you start having flooding. Um, and, Vault, you fucking dipshit. I was there during Katrina. Just shut your fucking mouth, all right? Anyways, um, you know, you just don't see storm surge. And then the fact that, like, you can, um, I don't know, they, they were under 15 feet of water. And that's, like, just the other coast here. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a little it's a little fucking crazy to think that, like, hey, you know, my house might be fine, but if it's 15 feet underwater, like, that's going to fuck some shit up pretty hard. Um, and, I, and you're guessing all of the insurance companies will go out of business. And FEMA only insure, uh, covers the insurance companies up to, I think, 250K. So it's like, well, that's pretty fucking useless, honestly. Like, that's going to cover nothing if my house does it. And then... If that does happen here, the values of everything is going to go to shit. I don't. Mm-hmm. It's going to be interesting to see what happens on the the west coast of Florida. What happens to property values out there? Because that happened to an area called Naples. Um, I think they're really hard hit, and that's like the Miami Beach of the west coast of Florida. Super expensive places. I think more expensive houses there than there is in Miami Beach, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, so seeing what happens there, I think will be really interesting. Anyways, the other part that is kind of when you say seeing what happens, you mean because like they got storm surge and hit really hard, and you're curious like if their values are going to plummet. Yeah, I'm going to be. I'm going to be. It's curious to see what's going to happen with their real estate values because right now that place is fucked, like completely fucked, right? Mm-hmm. And um, to see what happens a year out, like our property v- values back where they're at, or are people like, oh fuck this, I'm not moving to this place. You guys just got fucking obliterated by this hurricane. So. Um, that's something. But anyways, a cool thing I learned is apparently storm surge is actually much harder to have on the East Coast, supposedly. Uh, and that's because we have continental shelf. Is that right? Like this big drop off in the ocean. Like if you go out like a mile or something like that, maybe it's not called that. Um, fuck. Um, basically on the East Coast, there's like this huge drop where I guess it goes down hundreds or you know, whatever, you know, a lot of a lot of meters or feet um, right away. And they don't have that on the West Coast. On the West Coast, it's just like a very gradual slope going out. And um, yeah, and apparently storm surge has a much more difficult time pushing up against uh, the continental shelf than it would versus the West Coast. And that's why the West Coast is more prone and it's much harder to have ha- happen here. Gotcha. So, um, yeah. Wild. Thank you for your fucking input. <laughs> you know what? What would you sell your I house for? What, what? What? What What would I sell my house for? Or what would I... What yeah, like mean? how much? What would you try to sell it for? I think I can... So I'm... After I do the second story here, which I'm going to do, mm-hmm. um, you get $1,000 a square foot right now mm-hmm. for in Miami Beach. So I think I can get over $4 million for it. Jesus. I mean, it's crazy because you know my house. My house is like, I don't know, half a million in Nebraska, maybe. Well, I don't know, maybe more than that, but still. 
Five million dollar house, thirty year fixed mortgage. <laughs> Don't do a thirty year fix right now, please. Oh, Jesus, that's like a thirty thousand dollar a month mortgage and escrow payment. Ugh. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. But people around here aren't really um like working on a salary like they have like money or they're like fucking loaded or yeah, something. Yeah. I mean it's fucking crazy. Miami has changed. Do you have to bit. be like Jewish to live in your neighborhood or is that just like a thing or what? <laughs> like they come around with the dick inspections when you move in? They're like Shabbat Shalom. Uh, I don't know, like when there's like you said it's like, oh, uh, it's like a Jewish neighborhood. Well, what if I get a bunch of like Christians together? Like, Let's go buy some houses here, fuck these guys. Like, could you do that? Or is there are there like housing homeowners associations or whatever that keep it pure purely jewish that sounds well, illegal do you want, do you, yeah, do you you probably want can't to do answer that. this for yourself yeah, yeah I, I think i think you're on the right the right pace i'm pretty sure that that would not be <laughs> oh he said his name was cohen but he was from germany no no i'm just not gonna not gonna fly um i didn't know this was even a jewish neighborhood when i moved in here i only knew like the first week when i realized that like all of my neighbors were like Orthodox and Hasidic Jews, and I was like, "Oh boy, yeah. that's a little, that's a little much." Um, yeah, I was, you know, and for them, um, for I think it, maybe it's Hasidic Jews or Orthodox. I don't, I don't know. One of them, probably Hasidic Jews, I'm guessing. But for them, like the most pog sh poggers shit you can do in your entire life is convert like, another person to Judaism. It not a convert, no. no. That's like a crazy thing about the Jews is they, they kind of don't want you. They're like, eh, you know, you technically you can do it, but, you know, don't bother. You stay. You, you continue being Christian. They're good. But what they fucking love, um, let me tell you right now, these guys, they get fucking boners for this shit, is the wayward Jews. Like the, uh, oh, pulling the them back from the brink. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. When they, see, when they see, you know, a hairy chested short man like myself walking down the street or on my scooter on a Friday, they're like, Dan, Dan, come here. Let me talk to you. What are you doing? You should come. Will you, you know, and it's like, okay, you need this. And these people are fucking serious about it because it is like for them, it's their mission in life to get you. So they don't let up after the first time. They are fucking after you. It's like if they get you, they're like they're telling everyone about, you know, I got one. I got one. I've been trying for two years. I got one last month. Let me tell you. Perfect specimen. You know, they're fucking crazy, but they, they don't stop. And I've been here for you know 10 years now so um but uh yeah that's it damn they're on that j grind you know uh around here also on lincoln road where you've been and uh some other places i shit you not they walk around and they'll stop you if they if you look jewish uh, they go excuse me excuse me uh, are you jewish are you look jewish are you jewish? and you're like yeah why and they say ah come here come here and they like they they're looking they're looking for you. They're out there. There's like fucking patrols and they're out there and they're trying to make you do, um, uh, they do this shit where they tie this stuff around your arm and everything else. It's fucking crazy. Jeez. Anyways. That's pretty wild, Dan. Yeah. Are your kids like Jewish? Do you like, are they learning how to read the shit for their bar mitzvah or whatever? Or do you not give a fuck? Yeah. They're going to do the same thing I did. I call it Dan Judaism. Like, you know, just enough I, to reap all the benefits, but not enough to yeah, pay the price. You, you're you're Jewish for like a few days out of the year. That's like Passover and Hanukkah. And then you're, you continue. You learn how to read Hebrew. And then on when you're 13, you have your bar mitzvah, your bat mitzvah. And then you're fucking done. That's it. You're free of all Judaism, except for, you know, your your Passover is moving forward. That's it. And that's the way that we do it in this house. And that way, as my father told me, he said, you can do what you want. I didn't want to be the first saltman to not do this shit after a million years of other saltmans going out there and doing Passover. I wasn't going to be the schmuck to fuck it up. If you want to do that, that's on you. So it's like a lot of pressure. So now I'm going to put that pressure on my kids. Be like, listen, if you want to break the line of a million other people from my family, you know, that's on you. And that's how uh, that's how we do it. That's how you keep it going out of fear for angering our, uh, our forefathers. Damn. Yep pretty intense yeah don't pass the burrito down that's what we're doing you know that meme i bet you haven't seen that meme you don't even know where it's from do you nope. you haven't passed, passed the burrito, the burrito down i have no you've never name. passed the burrito nope what is it explain it that's a, sounds that's racist a discord, it's a discord meme you wouldn't get it oh yeah you pass the, you pass the burrito down 
Um, what else? What else? Hmm. What does Sneeko think of you? I only met him once. It was very brief. I'd be surprised if he even remembers who I am. Oh, maybe we'll do another dinner with him this week. I only hang out with unbanned streamers at this point. Sorry, okay, I, I, gotta, I, I gotta draw a line somewhere. You can be my one Nazi queen that I hang out with, and I can balance you out with a few other people. I can't be going around with two of them, and it's gonna look like I have favoritism. Okay, I guess Dan's not getting invited to that dinner. Okay, jeez. Oh, wait. Oh, that one? Uh, Wait, was other people there too? No, not that one. Wow, oh, you're that, actually oh. cloud sharking so hard. No, for, no, the first one. Oh, my yeah. God. But I want to go to... But I, that's not for clout, though. That's for... You for know, what? You know, that's for uh, future business opportunities, of course. <laughs> what is... It's another way to say future business opportunities. I mean, you never know, right? That should that's that should be what's going through your stupid fucking mind as you go in there, especially as you do your uh, DGG site part fucking two. Also, what is the plans for that? Do you want to like maybe go ahead and uh, like fill us in? All we see is the subreddit. It's like, hey, I'm making. You know, what is the plan exactly? Um, I talked about it a lot of my. Um... I'll talk about it again more clearly. And I can question you on it while we're here. Um, the site is like functional enough now that it's like easy to deploy like the full stack to another server, um, mm -hmm. and to have it like set up for other people. And that's what we're doing now. We're, our first test subject is none other than Mr. Girl himself. Um, yeah, I'll probably try it with Molina. And yeah. We'll so just... here's, you remember many moons ago we did this. Well, we we tried to do it. Um, we were trying to do it so that the it wasn't server by server based. Are you just giving up and doing it the white nervosa route then? Like, hey, you want a site? You got to pay for a server monthly and we're going to put your shit on there and it won't scale past uh, 4,000 4, viewers or whatever unless you go and upgrade the hardware. And, but, you know, you understand that for you, there's an upward cap. I assume there has to be. Um, like if you... I mean, we're trying hard to make sure that it's like we're, we're trying to make it very scalable. That's like the dream, right? Um, in terms of like how it specifically is going to work out, I mean, it's just going to depend on like the size of the streamers we get and everything else, right? So, so do you remember, like, I feel like we had a lot of stuff. By the way, any of that stuff that we did, I relinquish, not, I mean, not that it matters. I don't even know if you use it, but I relinquish all ownership or assets or anything. Any of that, just feel free to use it. But, oh, thanks. you know, the stuff that we did, a lot of that was really good ideas because we made it where it was a service that you would just go and, and like, you know, you could sign up. It's like going to Facebook and creating an account and you're ready to go. It's not like I have to fucking send an email and, you know, wait until Kate gets on and then you'll spin up a fucking line node Holy VPS shit. and do it. Yeah, what? fuck. So you're like, you're saying that like, it would probably be a good Are idea. You be, if not... you're being condescending to me right yeah, now, Yeah, no shit, fucking... we don't want to fucking manually have to okay every single fucking thing. Now in the beginning, that's probably what it's gonna be because we don't want just any oh, random fucking- Oh, so you fucking... are gonna fucking do that then. So what, you're building it twice? <laughs> well, you're such a fucking cunt. You go and say you wouldn't do that and then you're actually fucking doing that. Okay. I understand what well, long term, obviously you'd want everybody to be able to sign up for it. Maybe, but there's gonna have to be some qualifying things, right? Like we've got to like deploy a whole server and all that shit. I don't know if I want like a 12 viewer streamer signing up for it. Like what's the point of that? It's not even gonna be worth it. Well, yeah, well that's the reason that I was, and one of the, the things that we were looking at before is how can you make it so you do not need to go and set up a new server whenever a new streamer comes in. And well, instead, I think initially like you... we have it set up right now. I think that it's it's functional enough that we can deploy like multiple like instances on the same server and it works fine. I think. Uh, right, right. That that would yes. be the type of thing I yeah. think. But it's also. But it's still maybe... probably going to require like, without getting like crazy technical, it's probably still going to require some like manual maintenance, right? Because if streamers grow and fall in size, somebody's going to have to be actively monitoring like the server utilization and everything. You're going to have to like take things off and move things around like so it's like but i mean like we're just in the early stages of figuring out like right no, now i, I yeah. i'm just saying like the more i think that you can pool or share resources versus so look at it this way i think that there's like the twitter way of doing this and then there's i guess i could just call it like the white nervosa way of doing this so the twitter way of doing this is like you are when you create a site you're just another cog in the twitter machine right it's not like they're spinning up a server for you you're using a database that they already have you're using, um, you know, the, the servers that they already have for chat and things like that. Like, you might be another instance, uh, if you will, on that stuff. But it's not like they've set something up for you. Um, I think that should be the route that you go. Because then all you're doing is you're scaling your own service as it grows with more and more concurrent viewers across the whole network as a whole. But it's not like, 
hey, we just signed up fucking, we just signed up Tony Dofat. We need to, you know, this one's going to need a, uh, you know, uh, extra large Linode VPS because he gets 8,000, you know, viewers. I, I think, like, that's the the kind of direction I would push you to go is, like, you just keep making your service get bigger and smaller, but it's all, like, this core set of servers versus individually siloed shit. But I don't know if you guys are doing that. It sounds to me like, each streamer is going to have their own database and their own like copy of the source code in their own um, chat and shit like that. So that, that, that was my only, my only thought. And I think there is a lot of advantages of um, doing the, the shared stuff as well. Like, you know, maybe, you know, shared logins and things like that in the future opportunities with, with mailing. Like that was a big thing we talked about before. It's like, you know, you can make a lot of money. We're not, you no, we're mail. not doing anything about email lists. That's not, that's, you yeah. know. That's a huge revenue source. Like, I I know you're like dismissive of it, but like, I let's am. say you had I, I just don't care. I don't care. That's not, that's not well, what I Well, can I, want I tell you how much they, well, people care about money. So let me just tell you how much money you can okay. generate. Yeah, go for it. All right, well, fuck it. You know, you don't no, want tell to me. We'll tear the numbers. Go ahead. I mean, typically, there, it's huge CPMs for this stuff. It matches video when you send emails. So if you have 100,000 people, it's at least the equivalent of having 100,000 views on a YouTube video. So if I, every time I fire off an email to 100,000 people, I automatically get a check for $500. If it's a yeah, CPM Yeah, at least, yeah. I don't know if I believe that. But even if that is the case, I don't think I'd want to be involved in like email lists or whatever. That seems like the most like aggressive well, way to like make money off of people such that they probably No, the idea it. is that you give the control to the streamers on your platform. Like are you there to say fuck you? Well, here, let me let me I don't think we would I don't think we would here. ever give that level of control. I think the idea is to do like probably all of the logins on like a separate server for like Actually, here's some great questions I want to ask you. Number 1. Yeah. Let's say we create dan.gg here. Am I going to be able to see everyone's IP addresses and emails and uh, not passwords, but emails and um, IPs of who create an account on my site? No, that's why I said we were probably planning on doing like a central login server for everything, so, so that people don't have that information. Because that's so like, I will not have actual control then. So I mean, correct. not to be that's weird. Right. Yes, you won't. That is it is a little bit risky to do that, in my opinion, actually, because you're you're marketing yourself a little bit as a site. Like, hey, listen, you can't get banned from here. You own the website. You own the content. Like this is where you're. This is your new home. This is Dan.gg. They can't take this away from you, except like you literally can take it away. And then when you do, I don't have any of my users. I don't have any of my payment <clears throat> info. Like, shouldn't you try to be as portable as you can with that type of stuff? Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll figure out in the future. That's one question that we have. Um, because uh, if you're, how is this not working? Um. If you stop service, like, do we just give the source and the site to everybody else? Because that would be, like, there's questions around doing that, right? Um, so, like, the part of Because, like, you is... understand that, like, we couldn't just give, like, the source over, right? If you stop using the service. Because now, if assuming that, like, I'm paying tens of thousands of dollars for maintenance of this code base, now I've just given you my, like, entire proprietary source because you Well, stopped. I guess it comes down to the idea is do... Do you want a streamer to feel like they own their members and they own their website? Meaning that not you know, really. Future, no, I don't think I care about you, that. So you don't. Much. So no, you don't. So you're no, making no. kind of like also another... there's. It's almost like a software as a service thing. Maybe also these things are all up in the air. Also, Cake's gonna know the details of this way better than me. But um, also the whatever potential downsides there are, to like oh no, they don't feel like they own their shit. Blah 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 blah. Like um, is is dramatically outweighed by the idea of like any fucking streamer that signs up now can like full dox every single person that signs up to their shit. Like that's the liability there, in my opinion, is way, 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 way higher than somebody being like, oh, no, I don't get my proprietary source code in the actual database of all of my. I, you know, I feel like we had this conversation before and the, the assumption that we came to many years ago was how is it any different if I just create a fucking a Squarespace website that literally gives you my IP and email if I create an account on your site? And it's not right. Like if any if anyone creates a website and you as a viewer go and log into that streamer's website, you should expect that they're going to have whatever information you give to okay, them. Okay, so then let people right. go do that. If they want to go make their own shit, then they can go do that. That's fine. Well, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, listen, we're just having a um, conversation. You can get frisky. Um, I don't know if Squarespace is on the same level as this. Like, So do you, do you have Like, does Squarespace, dream? like, handle, like, payments and everything in that way? Or do they just, like, tell you, like, go sign up for Stripe I, I and, like, can connect be, it? I like... have no fucking idea. But, I mean, that's the real question I ask you. So, like, when you build this, back in the day, it was like, hey, listen, we're building Wix for streamers or Squarespace for streamers and, and YouTube creators. Um, you know, these people, there's all these other sites that, that focus on allowing you to 
create a website if you're a streamer or a YouTuber, but they actually don't really do a good job of it. They're all pretty garbage. Like the one that I'm most familiar with right now that's trying to do this is actually, I think it's Streamlabs, right? They have like, you can make kind of your shitty website with them, but they haven't really done anything with it as far as I know. So is that the goal to kind of create a startup where it's like, we're doing Squarespace for streamers or is this more targeted? Like this is a place for, you know, the canceled banned streamers. No, it's not, it's not, it has nothing to do with canceled or banned streamers. Just say they did like, if you want to run like all of your own subscriptions and donations and shit off of a separate platform, there's not like a fucking 30% cut into all of your revenue. Like, and, and I think the separate chat and community, I think is a really, really, I think that's a really big deal to a lot of people. When I've talked to Melina, uh, when I've talked to Lily uh, and I've talked to Lauren, um, I've talked to, um, I think Sneaku even brought it up. There's a lot of people who like, when they look at my platform, the chat is actually the biggest selling point, more than any other aspect of it, more than the subs, more than the donos. Um, uh, I'd have to ask Max, I wonder how he feels, what the biggest selling point is for him, but like, yeah. I, so I think like having that, um, I, I think that, yeah, I think that's the biggest selling point. It's the, just basically the ability to have like your community in an area that's not like subject to any rules, regulations, restrictions from like See, other- See, but that, to me, that part, doesn't exist unless you actually kind of own it a little bit. No, you don't need access to any of your user data for so, that. Do, so should people come here feeling like you'll never, if they get set up with you, that you'll never get rid of them? Um, ideally, yeah. Well, that, that's not real, real answer. Let me give you an example. Let's say I come on and then I turn into a Denim's X, Hassan X, I don't know, whoever else you fucking hate mm -hmm. person all combined and I'm still using your shit. Are you going to take it from me? What about... Like, what I about don't have actually... a history of being like financially vindictive to any person that I've ever associated with ever. No. If you think you I'm going to do that, then you can think that. That's fine. Then just don't come to my platform. I don't care. Oh, no. Okay, fine. A better example might be like, imagine like Keffels was using your stuff from the beginning mm -hmm. and then you went through all this stuff with her. No, I wouldn't do it because I'm not fucking retarded. That It's going to make me look bad. Why the fuck would anybody use my service if they're subject to get kicked off of it because we have political disagreements? Of course well, not. That's what, I, that's what I was asking. Is I think that that's important is that if someone comes to you that they need to know without a doubt that this is something that they can um, you know, count on not being taken away from them. Because I would guess most of the people that want this are people that feel like they can't count on Twitch or YouTube to be a place that can be... Um, hold on. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, no fucking shit. God, I, I'm not going to... Moron, okay? I was talking about this before you were a fucking thought in your dad's balls, all right? Chill the fuck out, back the fuck up. Don't tell me. Okay. Dan, you don't have any intelligence to lose. Tomzy, get on here. Right now, come uh -oh. on in. I, let's, let's fucking compare, okay? Any subject you want. I don't care. If you're like a professional fucking cabinet maker, I somehow am going to know more about cabinets than you do, okay? That's how confident I am that you are a fucking moron, knowing nothing about you at all. I, whatever your profession is, you know nothing about it. I'm better at it. There's nothing that you're better at than me except being a fucking moron and having a smaller me that's it that's the only things you got going on in your life <sighs> sorry i just i gotta stop reading chat this is too much for me you know what it is it's just like i haven't been here for a while just keeping an eye on it i mm -hmm. see the little blue mentions coming in i peer over and i get fucking mad that's it no you are updated fucking caveman eat shit i, I gotta stop i have to um i'm thinking <laughs> what what is so funny what uh, here is a, one of the, um, one of the female friends earlier, uh, that I said gave that not safe for work thing was talking some shit on you. Here you go. I don't know, Dan. It's a. Tell that. Oh. Say it. Tell that what? Say it, Dan. Say what, say what we all want to hear. You know what? Why, why don't you know? You know us. Tell. You know what? I'm still say here it. every day. I'm not, I'm not being like, oh, I don't want to come on because people like, but I do it and I fucking stand in the trenches and I take it and I fire back. Uh -huh. You know what? That's the difference. I guess we're just built differently. Okay. You're afraid. I'm out here on the streets. That's the difference. They said, Dan, no way there are intelligent women who refuse to come on stream because the chat is terrible. Dan, 20 minutes later, having a meltdown. This is not a meltdown. <laughs> Okay, this is not a meltdown. This is normal, everyday, 
dealing with chat. This is how I've been for years. Not a meltdown uh -huh. because he misspoke. Didn't misspeak, by the way. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Find me the misspeak, idiot. See, that's why you can't hang here in the arena, okay? Because you can't keep up. You're not fast enough. Your paws can't pitter-patter across the keyboard quite like mine can. And I don't blame you. Not that easy. Anyways. What do you think the next uh, big arc needs to be? What? Next arc? Anything but red pill. This shit is Oh, anything but. Weird. Oh, he's one of those answers. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay. Let me think. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. The next arc. Oh, I'll take the next orbiter. Because you don't orbiter. know what can, be, what can become an arc. Like, you could say pit bulls, but it's like, you know, is that really an arc? You know, is that just a thing we talked about? I know the next orbiter I need to build up, okay? Have you listened to this ruminate guy at all? No. Okay, fine. I don't even know You're who not going to like him because it's boring politics. He's a cool okay, dude. Okay, then definitely not. Okay, never mind. Fuck. Um, that guy is going to go somewhere. He needs, he needs to do more online content. I can feel it. Oh, if he wants to go somewhere, he should steer the fuck clear of you then. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've launched more successful careers than like any other fucking streamer except for Ice was I'm pretty sure I've launched more successful careers. No. They just they were just happened to walk by on, on Destiny's stream. They're already on a path to greatness. Did you not see bro tips? Okay? Everyone oh, knew that guy was fucking going somewhere. You were you were just one turtle getting stepped on on a long line of turtles until he became the top streamer. Wow. We all knew it. That's why we brought him in. The professor. Anyways. Um, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I, uh... I tell you, I had, an I had another leak in, uh, not, not in my office here, but in my, in my house, in my kitchen. What happened? One of my... Yeah, I got my upstairs bathroom redone, and one of the welds... Something happened, I guess, and it was doing so. I had to redo part, redo part of the um, kitchen ceiling a little bit. Dude, anything that has anything to do with fucking... Uh, we've probably talked about this before, but anytime like water is involved, it's like the worst fucking feeling in the world. Yeah, because it fucks your oh, shit up. And then God. also, like, you don't... Let me, I was going to ask you this. What point do you think you would involve your home insurance? Well, anything with water, probably. Fuck that. Actually, yeah, I no, did, I, I did, wouldn't. Yeah. Actually, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't I involve them. No, fuck that. Because I, dude, whenever we would show up to jobs, they'd be like, "Oh, there's a little bit of water." It's like, "Oh, hundred fifty dollar job." But as soon as we're like, "Well, hold on, there might be moisture behind the wall," it's like the easiest five to ten thousand dollar job ever. Like, we're sticking five fans in that room. We're sticking two dehumidifiers down there. We're cutting out like twelve inches of drywall. We've got our moisture sensors. We're peeling up carpet, throwing away fucking padding, sealing the floor. It's we're gonna charge for every fucking thing we can. You better believe. When, if you ever walk into a room, guys, you need like two fans in a room. Okay, and like maybe one dehumidifier, depending on the room. That's all you really need. If you ever walk in and there's like so much equipment, they're wondering why. It's because we build for that shit by the day. Okay, thirty dollars a day per fan, like fifty to a hundred dollars a day per dehu. Like hell yeah, dude, that shit was some cash cows when you had water damage jobs. But I think the problem, the issue is that like I think realistically, if I had water damage, I'm like fuck it, I'll run my, um, I'll take my chances, I'll run the risk, whatever. But like the problem is if you do neglect it and there is mold back there and it starts to grow. One day you're gonna like pound that shit open and it's gonna be like 1,000% mold, or you're gonna die from some weird fucking brain spores. Um, yeah, so I think you can, you probably should do the right thing, but yeah, I'm just gonna. I just I just paying someone to do it. I think it's only gonna be a few grand. But like, if it was like a 20 grand job, the thing is, I feel like if I called someone, like they would like just rape the insurance company. Because that's, that's like, what they oh, do. Well, yeah, because once insurance is mold? paying for it, Hold yeah, on. you're going to be because the thing is for well, I don't. it's probably like this in everything. I think it's like this in the automobile repair industry, too. But there's usually like industry standards for what's expected to be charged. So like if I'm just billing you for something like I can probably I can get this water damage job done for probably fifteen hundred bucks. But if I know your insurance is paying for it, <laughs> we're going we're bringing in every piece of equipment in the garage and you're going to pay for it every day because I know you're not paying. You're not funding the bill. Right. You just have a deductible. So, yeah, I think yeah. it's probably the same in know. most industries. Once insurance gets involved, like you're getting charged for every fucking thing out of the sun that is like an industry standard even if it could be done for one tenth the price yeah and they're gonna literally like rape my house like going through and, and oh yeah all the boots things. all the equipment yeah, the wheels the fucking scuff shit and everything yeah yeah wait hold on there's a mitch what? oh did you oh you don't appreciate it fuck mitch um dating mira again well i shouldn't say dating they might not be dating but he's in the same house as her oh my god the mitch cycle the prophecies were right jesus but you don't know mira anything involving her so i don't think you appreciate i don't 
you don't appreciate the insanity of it all. So, uh, I guess back to the Mr. Girl thing. Oh, you wait. just imagine you're just going to evict can I, his fans from what? Um, can I listen to like the 60 second clip real quick? Go. Oh. Okay, hold on one second. Titty fuck my GF that I don't have. Bro, have you guys ever titty fucked? Is that fun? I've never tried that. Have you guys ever done that shit? Wait, why are people getting timed out? Hey, Mitch, I hate you for trying to can- I didn't try to cancel Miz Skip! Dude, I don't know if I can sit on this any longer. Like, you know, Miz has asked me to stay quiet, but I just don't know if I can. Like, I, I actually don't know if I can. All right, I'm so sick of this shit. Like, I'm actually so sick of this shit. All right, hold up. Okay. All right, go for it. I forgot what I was saying. Um, it was about Mr. Girl ban all of his Oh, yeah. So do you think you're going to continue banning? No, I mean, I imagine once people calm down, people start to get unbanned and Mr. Girl should get unbanned. Unless Forethought is like truly become unhinged destroyer of worlds, but... Right? Yeah, I guess. He... He's pretty frisky. I think he's... Mr. Girl unless or Forethought? You... No, Forethought. I think unless you direct him, he'll keep doing it. But would you ever get to the point where you're like, hey, stop doing this? Um, or are you just gonna be like, listen, I prefer you didn't, but keep doing what you think. Because I, I, I mean, if he got like way up. actually like two out of hand, yeah, of course. But yeah, so I, I think it's probably gonna not change. He's he's insane enough to just keep doing what he's doing. I think. Um, you know, he's done a good job so far. You know, I let him. I leave him to his own devices. Yeah, so that's why I, I feel like probably nothing will change with that. Which is, you know, what's this. Um, I think it's good, usually, that the moderators have their own realms. Like, RTBA is, like, king shit in BGG. Forethought is king shit in Reddit. Um, yeah, they kind of, they're like the, um... Yes, they... <laughs> what do you call that? Like, I've, had a, I've had a battle with RTBA before, and he's, like, fucking banning me from chat, and I'm giving him, like, a, a role in Discord and shit, like, taking... Yeah, it's, like, what we... What's the name of the like, gods no. in Lord of the Rings? What are they called? The houses? Wait, the what? The gods in uh, Lord of the Rings. There's a name for these things. But anyway, yeah, they're, they're like that. They like they rule their own. Oh, the vassals, maybe? I don't know. They rule their own fucking domains or whatever. Or the valor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what? I'm telling you right now. House of the Dragon. I mean, not that this is... It's good. Have, you haven't seen it yet, yeah? No, but I, maybe I'll start watching it. I, I think... I don't know why they couldn't get more known... Actors. I understand everyone's like, oh, this guy's in here that I've never fucking seen before. It's really good. Um, despite the fact that it doesn't really have anyone you're going to know inside of it. Um, I'm just trying to imagine. Everyone doing fucking question marks right now? I swear to God, you must be fuck. You know what? It's not their fault. I'm sure they're in some fucking weird country where, like, Oh yeah, uh, Derpy Mc, uh, McTingleson. Oh, he's huge here. Dan, you didn't know who he was? He's in all of my favorite shows. Oh, come on. I'm like, bro, in this show, I didn't know who any of these people were. I don't think any of these actors are known. Except for like one or two of them. Tell me. Tell me who the biggest actor in this show is. And if Steven knows who they are, I'll admit defeat. Okay, you better biggest not lie. actor. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. Top five. You have to know all five for me to apologize. People are all saying right, so the first Matt one Smith. is Matt, I, Matt Smith. Is that the guy from Google. Fox News? You don't know who he is because you already don't know who it is. Next, who's after Matt Smith? Oh, I've seen Next. this guy. Isn't it? Wasn't he on like a BBC TV show or something? This is the big actor that we're we're calling that everyone knows, by the way. Okay. Oh, Doctor okay. Who. That one. Yeah. There you go. You. That's like not. It's like oh, wasn't he in that commercial with the juicy? That doesn't fucking count. This guy's barely... Anyways, who's next? Uh, I know the other. It's like Rise something or other. Fucking... What's his name? Yeah, more like Dr. <laughs> W.H. <laughs> Omega Lol. Yeah. True. Dan is fucking... I literally what it is, it's a bunch of fucking unironic jerk off fanboys. It's like, oh boy, uh, this person that represents Scotland is in here. How could you not know who they are? They're the biggest because I don't care because there are nobody here in the land of freedom. I've never Ooh. seen any of these people before. Ooh. I watch a lot of movies. I watch a lot of TV shows. I, I think I've seen the, the Hand of the King 
is the only guy I've fucking seen in this. I think the only one. I'm not saying it's a bad show. It's a fucking great show. I'm just saying how much better could it have been if they got some, like, sick fucking people in this show? How is it that, like, the fucking Star Wars Andor has better cast than this fucking Game of Thrones shit? Explain that to me. Ooh. Worst chat out on that one, guys. Yeah, I don't care. They Because they just, they can't see through it. They're, you know, they're a bunch of bots. I dare to use that term because I don't like it, but I'm going to say you guys are a bunch of bots. You can't see through what's going on. I didn't say everyone has to be popular. I'm saying that they could get a few people that are a little bit more well-known that would probably be better actors, uh, and it would be it would be better. It would be better. You know, let me get that fucking Jamie Lannister in there or one of these other people, and you're like, I know who that is. That guy's fucking sick. Like, there's certain people you just fucking, like, they're super cool. Like, uh, I don't know. Some of those, like, uh, you know, what's the name of that goddamn shit? Doesn't matter. Did Game of Thrones have a lot of big actors in it initially? Because that's like Sean Bean and. I mean, there, were, yeah, I think there was definitely a lot of people that you have seen. Name two more shows. besides Sean Bean in the first two seasons. Of Game I'm not going to know the names, but like, <laughs> they were. Okay. Um, well, like, the dude who plays Jamie Lannister, for sure. Really? What was he in? What's his name? He's a huge actor. What was he in? Name one thing. Um. He was in the fucking. <laughs> He's what's the name of that? No, what's the name of that typing, fucking movie? Dan. I know it in my head. It's like the shot caller, the prison. I mean, that's a what new one. What the fuck is that? Wait, hold on. Wait, when did shot caller come out? This guy is a big. I I don't like. Bro, was this was, was fucking after. like ten years after the first season of Game. I, I, I will not be. <laughs> I don't care. Game of Thrones had name known one people man. in it. Name on day one, one thing it he did. was in. It did. It did. It did. I will not be. <laughs> no, 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 Dan. Name one. He was in before. no because this name one thing puts people on the spot. Name ten black people now, right now. Go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got it. Tell me. Okay. Ten people. Try X. Hands Try up. X. Hands up. Yeah. Abba. Okay. <laughs> Preach. Okay. Um. Fanatic. Come on, more fanatic. black people. Fanatic. Okay. Who else? <clears throat> um. Prime Kai. Uh. President Barack Hussein Obama. Um. Uh, oh, can I name black basketball players? <laughs> You're pathetic. <laughs> Steph Curry, you LeBron are. James, Shaquille O'Neal, Michael Jordan. There you go. All right, bro. Uh, so that's that's black black people to you. It's just a bunch of. Okay. Oh, can I name rappers? Kanye West, Jay Z. <laughs> like, I... <laughs> this is how long there. it took you, though. But, what do you, but I still fun. named. That was twelve. Okay, now name one thing that Jamie Lannister was in before Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, Jason Momoa. Right? Uh, we know him. He's a superhero, bro. <laughs> from from what? From shit. I don't know. He's the Aquaman. I don't know if he was Aquaman back then. Wait, I wait, don't care. wait. When do you think that movie came out? He, I, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that don't, movie came out in like 2021. I, I, don't, I don't care. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Fuck. Where is the movie? I don't even know what it was called. Oh, no, he didn't even have his movie initially. He came out in the fucking, um, the DC fucking Avengers movie or whatever. Don't care. I still, the fucking, uh, Tyrion's dad was a big deal back then. He was in a lot of movies. <laughs> yeah? Um, Do you know one? Well, this whole, like, name one thing. He, I don't think he's, like, typically the main cast member. They're, sure, like, just name, like, a... Member. Movie yeah, if I decided. pulled it up, I would say like 20 <laughs> movies that you know of if I do it. I just don't know it off okay, the top I just, of my head. I just want to know one. Do All right, you me, know? well, what? What? <laughs> just name one of them. We're not asking for a lot, dude. Just You're putting me on the spot, and I don't like being on the spot. Just a simple movie, my lord. <laughs> You're such a cunt. <laughs> Didn't you make the same demand of the Matt Smith thing? Where you were like, name, you, you have to look what? up. <laughs> you, if you have to look it up, it doesn't count. Uh, what? What? No, I'm just okay. Who the fuck was this guy? Um, um what? Uh, <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? What is so funny? I swear to God, dude. I, I just, fucking swear to God. Why did, why did you name Peter Dinklage? He was actually Willow. We all saw Willow, right? I don't think he, wasn't he one of the dudes that wasn't a big deal when it came out? Like, and the show made him. What? Peter Dinklage? Yeah, okay, Chat can correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't you argue that Peter Dinklage was either the second or most famous actor going into that? I thought he was like Sean Bean level. Am I crazy? Peter Dinklage is like the most famous. 
or um Oh fuck, I'm thinking of Warwick Davis. Oh my god, I just mixed up dwarves. Yeah, and let's let's go oh, in here no. with all the people doing Omegawol! Oh, <laughs> fucking dead Omegawol! Oh, you are fucking wrong. Oh you know what? Oh my god. All of you fucking disgusting simps that will just fucking suck his dick because you think he's right. You are all I want you to look inside and be like, oh shit, I'm a fucking retard. I miss Omega Lold. That's you. All of you fucking idiots. Yeah, you're wrong. All of you fucking morons. God, I want it's YouTube. Kill your <laughs> all of you. Whoa! All of you. Oh, in a video game, Ethan, slow down there, buddy. You know, it's just so that's like fucking DGG chat, like in a fucking bottle right there. It's they're like Omega Lol Dan thought that his career was huge before this. <laughs> what a fucking idiot! Didn't he know he was the biggest person ever? And it's like, oh wait, oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm a fucking moron. Oh, my bad. Oh, but, uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, just shut the fuck up. Keep your own megalols to yourself. You said that with such vitriol. Keep your own megalols to yourself, guys. Yeah, keep them to yourself, guys. All right? I don't think he was pretty big. I think, obviously, is it Bean? Sean Bean or Sean? Sean Bean. Yeah, yeah. But could it be, could it be seen. No, Sean Bean. Anyways, um... He was a big deal. The guy who played Oberyn, was he a big deal before Game of Thrones? I know he is now, obviously. Um, I don't think so. <clears throat> let's see. That is Pedro Pascal. God, Littlefinger's death was so stupid, dude. How do you think he should have gone? Or was that... How it happens in the books, I haven't read any of them. I don't think the books are at that point yet. It was just dumb, Dan. They were just stupid. Why is it that, like, so Stannis should have been king? Because, like, uh, you know, the, the kids weren't authentic children. They were, uh, you know, cheated on. Or, no, brother, sister, fucking. So, Well, like, who why... should have been king? I mean, what do you mean? It's... St he, he absolutely should have been king. Like, by right. No? Well, it's whoever fights and kills for the throne, right? Well... No, it, well... Because technically, you could say the Targaryen um, Daenerys should have been queen, right? Because her dad was uh, wrongfully ousted from the throne, right? But if you're ousted, um, like, if you're voted out, like, is it a wrongful... I don't know. Is oh, wait, there... we're not even in the right room. What are we doing in here? Are we not supposed to be in here? Yeah, why are we in this room? We're in the ultra-exclusive one. Hold on, I think Abba wants to scream at you about something. I'll be right back one sec. I'm going down rooms. Okay. One second, guys. I'll be back. Wait. Hold on. Did Dan just say that the Targaryen guy was voted out? No, just first off, <laughs> I'm back in here. I, I, I didn't say I did. it was, Just shut the fuck up. God. The Mad God. King who got King Slayered by the King Slayer, Jamie Lannister, that guy who was going to set the whole done. fucking place on fire with wildfire? I wasn't. <laughs> Well, yeah, they sure did vote him out all right. Okay, sorry, I'll be right back. He, he did get voted out. Yeah, with Jamie's sword. <laughs> that counts.